giving you a voice, and making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Let's begin our short little sprint to the finish here. Uh, in the fifth spot, we have team 195. From Southington, Connecticut, and Southington High School, it's the Cyber Knights. They have an overall record of 14-6, and six, and they were the winners of the Central New York Regional. So the Cyber Knights make their 2019 debut outside of the New England District and have already punched their ticket to the championship. Um, so ranking seventh, they were selected the number one alliance and would go on to win the event. So finals matches two and three were only separated by a total of seven points. So a really exciting finals up in, uh, up in New York. So 195 is a really cool robot that plays this game really well. Um, really highlighted by their turret. Um, so they're part of team turret there. So very unique to this um, year's game. Only a few out there that are doing it. So they're just on an unbelievable run as a team, which I believe includes winning the new England district championship every year since it's been started. Yeah. Um, wow. So really excited to see them going forward. They've already qualified for Detroit, like I said, but not going to matter to them. They're still going to go out and uh, really just try to do really well and, uh, and will do really well um, in new England. So congratulations to uh, 195, the cyber Knights. Sweet. I think we have some of them in the chat, or at least people are talking about it. Um, so uh, I, you know, I don't know if they're watching today, but I know uh, 195 has texted me before saying that they they get their whole team to watch occasionally, which is super cool. They do. Yeah, they've so. been super huge supporters of our show since the beginning. Yes, yeah, so. Sandra and Gino. Yeah, they're just yeah. class acts. Yeah, and we actually had 195 on one of our new shows, uh, FRC Deep Dive. Uh, about a month ago or so. Uh, so if you want to learn more about 195, kind of some of their interworkings, uh, what makes their team work, uh, look up uh, FRC Deep Dive. Uh, and uh, Nick Cousins, uh, who hosts that show, uh, provides you uh, a really cool look at 195. Cool. Sweet. All right, so moving on to our fourth-ranked team, that's going to be their alliance partner, Team 2791. From Latham, New York, and Shaker High School, it's Shaker Robotics, 33-6 and six overall, and we're the winners of the New York Tech Valley and Central New York Regional. Shaker continues marching forward as one of the best robots in the world, earning the number one spot in Central New York this weekend with a 4RP advantage over the number two ranked team. There was a slight hiccup in the finals, but overall they have dominated and have set their sights squarely on capturing a division title in Detroit. So good luck to 2791 Shaker Robotics. And I think, Tower, we have a little bit of more uh, coming up on the 2791 machine. Is that correct? Yeah, so uh, Christine was actually at this event and uh, filmed a Behind the Bumpers with 2791. Uh, I will give you a little bit of warning. There are a couple audio peaks I had to try to... Uh, get out the best I could. So the audio is not the best quality, but the video is really good. Gives really good insight to uh, the robot. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm Christine from First Updates Now. We're here with Shaker Robotics. They're from Latham, New York, and they just came off of an awesome win at the Tech Valley Regional last weekend. And here we have two awesome students we're going to talk a little bit about what's making their robots so awesome. So, Ben, do you want to tell us a little bit about your awesome intake? Uh, so, one of my favorite things about this robot is the intake. So, a lot of teams this year had horizontal intakes for their hatches, but ours is vertical. And these little whiskers here bend a fair bit, meaning we can come into up, a, up to a 30-degree angle. Another thing is this intake here. A lot of teams went for a centering intake that just sucks the ball in and pushes it to the center, but we went for an intake that can just touch and go. Like, we can get the ball about here and it'll still intake it. It's just meant to grab it and go. That's pretty awesome. So how many different, like, prototypes or variations did you go through before landing on this awesome um, this design? This is our third iteration of this, of the ball intake. We had a centering intake to initially begin with. Then we had one that had a slightly lower compression, and now this is the final version that just whoop, well, it seems to be working out really well for you. And we're going to have somebody talk to us about their awesome um, line tracking that's going on down on this side of the robot. So. Yeah, awesome. So uh, this is our line following mechanism that we have here on the front of our robot. So inside of this 2 by one aluminum piece, we actually have four IR sensors that are facing downwards towards the field. Um, and each one can pick up on the difference between the carpet and the white gaffer tape on the floor. Um, and so then each of those sensors goes up to this custom PCB, which then goes back to our Rio. Uh, and we're able to pick up when the line is underneath which sensor, uh, and so our line following code drives us forward and centers us on the line. Um, and so we're using this as opposed to vision because it's proved to be really reliable for us as the line's right underneath our robot. Um, and then we also have this LED strip up here which indicates to our driver when we've crossed on top of the line, uh, and then he knows that he can use the line following command to line us up on the rocket or the cargo ship. That's pretty amazing. So we have a lot of teams using Limelight this year, but this seems to be working out really, really well for them. So you guys are currently undefeated right now at the Central New York Regional, right? 
That's pretty amazing. Congratulations. So how many more matches do you guys have left, and what are those matches looking like? Two today, and two today, and then three tomorrow. Um, we have a couple tough matches, and then I think our last two matches are somewhat manageable. None of, them, none of them are too bad. We, this is The last two matches today, I have a one-match turnaround. And that's our third set of one-match turnarounds today. Wow. So that's pretty crazy. It seems like you guys are really dialed in at this event. I'm excited to see what else this robot is going to bring to the field. Um, congratulations on your past win and qualifying for the Detroit World Championships. That's going to wrap it up for this Behind the Bumpers segment. So thank you to 2791, and good luck to them for the rest of the season. Thank Thanks. you very much. <laughs> uh, apparently i need to re-render that because i put the wrong bumper at the end but that's all right but that, that was actually not two five two five four but you can check out five two five four's uh behind the bumper on our youtube page and then the shaker one will be up uh once i re-render it as well so yeah, but thanks, thanks again to, Christine, for, yeah for filming that for yeah. sure oh, oh yeah what did you guys think of her uh Dude, I'm setup. I'm literally messaging her right now. I was like, I just cl- I took a picture that I was like legendary. I was like, <laughs> this is gonna be the new standard. Like, w- what can we clip this mic yes. to in the pit that you can like <laughs> pass around? Yeah, this and is it, awesome. And it is tough with the lavalier. By the way, like just a little audio thing. Lavalier mic those peak really easily. So yeah. Um, so it's so it tough in the pits where there's so much ambient noise going on and stuff mm-hmm. that. Yeah, and um, just when you pass it, you know, people are gonna yeah. like put it right up to their face where they're you know made to be like clipped, yeah. you know, down. So. Yeah, thank you to Christine. That yeah, was, that was uh, cool. yeah, awesome interview, and thanks to twenty seven ninety one for uh, providing the time for that. And guys, we uh, we have hosts that are all over uh, the world really now. Uh, with they are looking to do behind the bumpers interviews, so uh, make sure you do that. And by the way, just a side note: um, when we do behind the bumpers videos, we always want to have your robot featured, and then have you kind of talk about something else that's cool about your robot or your team as well too. So chairmen's or outreach and that sort of thing. So. If you're going to do interviews, please make sure your robot is available always. Uh, Tyler, the main producer, probably will not uh, uh, push your uh, your uh, your interview sorry, into post. So uh, we got to have robots are what people like to see. So just just on the side, because I know some people told some of our hosts around like, oh, we're, you know, we're too busy and that's fine. Uh, but if you can't schedule time later, we're probably not going to be showing your interview on air. Seems fair to me. Yeah, it's just honesty, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> All right. Only three left here, buddy. That's it. Uh, only three oh, left. Speaking. And... Christine's oh, in the chat. Hey, Christine. <laughs> nice. <must> it. <laughs> it's made by DeWalt. All right. Uh, so as we enjoyed that, we'll move here to the three spot and talk about Team 118. From League City, Texas and Clear Creek High School, it's the Robonauts. They have an overall record of 32-3, and three, and they were the winners of the El Paso and the Arizona – the, the El Paso District event in the Arizona, Arizona North Regional. So uh, we last saw the Robonauts in week one after their number one seed and win at the El Paso uh, event. And then we'll see, the, and we see them again after a perfect 10 and 0 and another number one seed and win at the Arizona North Regional. They, out of their 10 matches, they had six unicorn matches and a 3.6 ranking score average. Um, just crazy and unbelievable start for 118. Um, and a more, uh, they have one more district event in Pasadena before uh, the first in Texas district championship. So if you it came out this week from Rustin Jidley, um, this kind of 148 <laughs> 118 mashup video, uh, it's kind of pretty comical. And this was see. such so, a flex. I just, it was insane. <laughs> so um, we'll definitely um, just kind of see you soon to 118 in the Robonauts as um We'll see them again after after Pasadena. But, um, yeah, so just it was just crazy. 3.6 ranking score average. That's kind of what we said earlier, right? It's some of the ground game teams just won't be able to get up that high. Um, but, you know, it will be a great pick for a team that does. So, um, 118 showing how it's done. Uh, number three here uh, in, in week three. So, uh, moving on, um, just a we always, you know, usually say kind of all the dramas in the two spot, but, um, on Region Recap, yesterday, if you watched it, you can watch it on um, on demand uh, for Best of the West. Um, you already really know kind of how this is going to play out. Mm-hmm. Um, during these last um, – so we have some really awesome behind-the-glass videos that were submitted to us um, kind of showing off these um, amazing teams. So definitely uh, an angle. Um, it's really right from the driver's station. You can really watch just side-by-side side these these last two teams who you know <laughs> who you know they are. Um, kind of go at it and play their game so with these you can kind of see which team um is going to be two which team is going to be number one so tyler we're going to show those now or we're going to show those yeah well, well i'll just have a show as we're, as we're right. talking about them we'll bring it up 
Okay, great. So with that being said, the team uh, ranked second for week three is going to be team 254. From San Jose, California, Bellarmine College Prep bits the Hall of Fame Cheesy Poofs 15-1-1 overall and were the winners of the San Francisco Regional. We did have to wait a couple weeks after the build season to see the 254 machine, but it was worth the wait. They have an elevator. It's on a turret and it has a wristed <laughs> arm. Uh, it's truly an engineering marvel watching it get into a groove, which it wasn't always in a groove at times. Uh, but when it was, it looked really good. Their co-climb with 971 was also just a deadly uh, combination. It was some exciting matches to watch. Until this one we see on screen in a moment. By the way. Yeah, right, <laughs> this yeah. is from quarterfinal five, by the way. So if you guys have seen that, uh, get ready in just a moment. And that kind of so, epit- you know, kind of epitomized their whole event. Like some things were when it was working great, it looked so good. Um, but it wasn't always working great. Uh, and, but they're going to figure it out, certainly. And when we talk about not working great, we're talking about as far as the cheese booths are concerned, like they're going to get better. Right. Um, right. Yeah, I know. It's different. Put that robot anywhere else, and it's it's easily, uh, you know, it's a dominating robot. But it, it was some there were some kinks that have to be worked out. But another awesome machine from 254. So yeah, like somebody you just go ahead. Go ahead, Tyler. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, okay. Somebody put out just a crazy like uh, this really funny hilarious video. Uh, I think it was a fake Travis Cummington account that was like <laughs> talking about how like how the robot this year like you know had one loss and stuff like that and how like everybody's just hating on him now because of it like <laughs> it's like come on guys like this robot is still incredible like oh just yeah, because it's not sure. you know the the you know undefeated team that you saw last year it's like uh, i mean you can look at rank score you can look at things that you want 254 is still an incredible machine and uh you know yeah. you can argue if they should have been number two or not i totally get that argument uh on there but still an awesome machine and people who are who are ragging on 254 i, I sincerely don't understand it because your robot is still incredible yeah, like they were just pinned here against the the side of the uh, – or it was a little while ago. They were pinned, right, Mo- coming out of the human player station with a hatch panel. Most teams – and they just did it there with their turret. Yeah, that's you insane. Know, most teams, most teams got to do that, you know, dipsy do, you know, spin move to get around. But, nah, we'll just we'll just spin our turret and just drive straight and, yeah. and place it on the rocket and we'll just drive back. You know, so it's just like – it's so great. And it was one of the videos I had just watched. Um, there was like kind of some – there was like some footage of – I think – some of their like testing during their during build season, which we don't see very much um, from a lot of these teams. Um, so it's kind of cool seeing them test like, you know, in, in a room filled with a lot of people just kind of watching and, sure. and watching it move for one of the first few times. So <clears throat> that was pretty cool to see, too. But um, so, yeah, very, very nice. All right. So going on from or moving on from 254, the number one ranked team 2019 week three after top 25 is team number 971. So from Mountain View, California and Mountain View High School, it's Spartan Robotics. They have an overall record of 16 and 1, and they were the winners of the South I keep saying that, of the San Francisco Regional. So taking the number one spot, um, got I think a piece is of our Discord members. Um, they were talking about this kind of at length this week, 254 versus 971 versus 2791. And um, kind of we just said on the best of the West on region recap too. So um they had four unicorn matches um for this really awesome like smaller profile robot we have here uh 3.27 ranking score average um my personal favorite is watching them with the cargo right um they just take it and they just whip it around and it's not going anywhere it's like just not gonna be, you know not going loose at all um really really cool they have that level three climb which is quick and um, they can you know get off to the to the corner so they can fit up another robot up there um and just really, really nice to watch them play. I don't know if um, Justin Tyler, you guys have any other comments on on 971, but they're just so quick. Like they're just they just play this game so so well. Just I love watching them here. Just just play this. And this perspective is just is really cool to see. Like like that. They just like they're just programmed so well. That ball just like went right in. You know, like they have it. They have their sensors or whatever, so it's at the exact height, and they just drive over, literally smash it in, and they just let it go. And it's just. Uh, Pretty cool. I think the coolest thing is just the improvement from last year. You know, they had a really uh, cool arm on the robot last year, but it did not perform up to expectations for things. And uh, seeing 971 kind of reset and and reconfigure and maybe uh, approach the game uh, perhaps a little bit differently. I I don't know because I don't have insider info on that. But the robot this year is absolutely incredible. Uh, And I love the small frame and small configuration for it. Uh, We saw a couple teams up in PNW with similar uh, as well to looks. And... uh, 971 is just an awesome machine. I mean, absolutely dominating machine. They, they deserve to be in the number one spot, in my opinion, uh, and I think are the real deal, and I can't wait to see more of them uh, in the 2019 season. 
Yeah, for sure, man. And uh, part of our Discord was just talking about kind of on the uniqueness that they that they have built over the last few years, and and seeing them in uh, 2016 was that um what you call oh, it? the crazy transformer robot? Yeah, yeah, that would just start and just huh. come up and flip. yeah, I think yeah, it's nuts. Just, uh, yeah, so just how they um how they approach this and um is just uh is, you know pretty unique each and every year and just very cool to see. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.